made good time. Hand me the item. I didn't doubt you'd find this. And I apologize if I was overly imperious before. A reflex action. I get a lot of young blood in here for getting their place. I'll assist you as reasonably as I can with your task. But first... This tape. I'm in a hurry to find out what's behind all the hype, so get comfortable. I do have a feeling that whatever's here may be of use to both of us. Oh. more disturbing than I was led to believe. You can understand my concern now, can't you? It just so happens that around the time this snuff film started circulating, the Nosferatu disappeared. I tried to elicit their help in tracking down the source, and for the first time in all these years, I was dismayed by their absence. I assume it does. It's awfully coincidental otherwise. And those creatures. I don't know how many professional FX houses could pull those off. There's a problem, though, in that the film's incomplete. The first half is damaged. We need a complete copy. Behind the spit-shine gloss of the Hollywood Dream Factory, there's another city churning out a vile byproduct for the furtive consumption of a debauched audience. I have no doubt the film's found its way to another smut peddler. I'd ask around. Certainly. There is something, but it involves a gargoyle. Hmm, I can see that's got your attention. It's taken up residence in my beloved Asian theater. It is closed now, but that's beside the point. I sent some people to evict it, and it sent them back with a few less limbs. I can't have that monster attacking kindred in my city. It's a walking block of stone with a taste for blood. I'd suggest whatever method doesn't result in you being eviscerated. In truth, I'd rather have it as an ally, but I doubt it's going to be chatty. Here's the key for the theater. I'll leave it up to you. Certainly. In your lifetime, unwittingly or not, you have seen an Isaac Abrams production. As the financier of 30% of American films' top 100 movies, you must have. Being the Baron of Hollywood, I can do any project I want. Stewart, Lean, Hitchcock, Wilder, Holden, Dean, Scorsese, De Niro, and last but not least, Ash, my child. I remember some studio suit lost in time telling me the only thing they could use Bogart for was to move furniture. Ash, where do I begin? Seven years ago, I saw a casting session for what would become Negative Zero. The moment I set eyes on him, the passion of his performance, I knew he had it. I hadn't seen anything like him since Clift or Dean. He had the looks, the charisma, the lure. That undefinable quality that makes a film legend. My first movie with him made him a sensation, and it also changed him. Once everyone knew who he was, I no longer did. The parties, the drinking, the sports cars, the women. One night when I came to discuss his next role, I found him nearly dead of an overdose. And I couldn't... I couldn't let him go. I acted on impulse. I'd seen so many others die before their time, but with Ash, I had a chance to prevent that fate. It devastated Ash. He still wanted to act, but I denied him his place in the limelight. 
He had to lie to his friends about his new lifestyle. He had to feed. I gave him a club, a scrap of his former glory. I did everything I could to facilitate the change. He feels obligated to me. I don't think he hates me. Resents me, maybe. I am his sire, and he is my child. There is a responsibility and respect inherent in that bond, even if we are no longer the friends we were. He spends nearly all of his nights in his club, the Asp Hole. I am, I admit it, too old-fashioned to appreciate it. To me, it's the compressed essence of everything that's wrong with the film industry today. Certainly. I want to go ahead and get the spaz while I have a chance. Picked up a spaz 15 this morning. Cleaned, oiled, and just waiting to put a hole through something. You interested? And I need to load up on ammo when I buy the spaz because I can't buy it everywhere. Not everyone sells it. trying to calculate how much I should buy because I know there are two resupplies before I have to fight any battles with it. Also want to check my emails because there's a mission to pick up. And I need to see Strauss. Hello, Neonate. How can I be of assistance? Of course. Gargoyles? Why are you asking about gargoyles? What can I tell you about them? <sighs> yes. I know something of gargoyles, and of this gargoyle in particular. I had hoped that he would meet his final death, but it seems my creation still lives to torment me. Yes. Many years ago, I created this gargoyle to protect the Chantry from our enemies. He was a faithful servant, and saved my life more than once. Unfortunately, he became increasingly upset about his role as my protector and wished to be set free. I refused to do so. Finally, he stole away into the night, and I haven't seen him since. Isaac Abrams. His disrespect for the Camarilla is surpassed only by his hatred of LaCroix. If he finds out, it will be a source of great embarrassment for the clan and the Camarilla. He cannot learn that this gargoyle was my creation. Do you understand? I appreciate your discretion in this matter, Neonate. Here, take this. It is an ancient ward that may help you on your battle with the gargoyle. You need only carry it on your person to enjoy its protection. With much difficulty, I'm afraid. Gargoyles are notoriously resilient. Their hides are made of stone. Firearms will be almost useless. Blunt force is the only thing they understand. The Rune of the Third Eye is important for the battle if you decide to fight the Gargoyle. And uh, Strauss gives us some very nice rewards, so we want to stay on his good side. <laughs> 